what would you prefer first, the good news or the bad? That's George Osborne's dilemma as he surveys the economic landscape. Let's start with the good. The economic numbers are looking excellent at the moment. Back in the spring, the Office of Budget Responsibility said that growth was going to be 2.7% this year and 2.3% next year. The chances are it's going to upgrade them to 3% this year and 2.6% or thereabouts next year. Unemployment is also falling very fast indeed. Back in the spring, the OBR thought it wasn't going to get down to 6% until 2017. Well, it's down there already. Money is still sloshing around the economy. You only have to look out over the skyline in London to see all the cranes and how much construction is going on. The problem is that's not the case across the country as a whole, and that is where the bad news starts. Unemployment here in London is 6.3%, but it's up at 9.2% in the northeast. And low unemployment overall isn't actually helping the public finances as much as you'd expect, because many of those jobs are low paid, which also means lower tax receipts. Back in the spring, the OBR predicted that the deficit was going to fall by £11 billion this year. But as things stand, it's actually 6% higher. Finally, the Chancellor will have to map out yet more austerity. But with the NHS ring-fenced and more spending going on schools, where are those cuts going to come from?